that I want to be. Anything. There's nothing that holds me back. Not anyone or anything. It's checkmate. I win by sheer power of will. By mind over matter. I win. like when you have the upper hand you have the upper hand and I have the upper hand you know why? because I will it I demand it I make the upper I, I stick my hand on top it's like that game you play and my hand's just on top Period. Because I willed it. And so, if, if I do have something, and people don't even know that I got something, and it's like, I'm looking who to give my wealth to. Like, say I earned a million dollars. And I was looking who is deserving of such riches. I would say not you, and not you, and not... But him, like a shining beacon of hope. He's worth it. And that's just something I think people don't understand. Is, is there is more to this world than than anybody really understands. And it's like, so... Although I'm sitting here telling you, and I'm saying, you know, look, I'm rich. And I know things. And I'm looking up deserving characters that deserve... If you don't understand what I'm talking about, how are you deserving? I'm looking for someone that knows what's up. And they're deserving. So when you think I'm a big pile of shit, what do I think about you? I think that's the same thing about you. I think you're a hypocrite. I'm not necessarily calling you a big pile of shit. That's what, that's what you say to me. And when you say that to me, I'm like, uh, and, uh, another undeserving person that doesn't deserve my attention. Period. At all. Ever. Not because they were mean or anything, necessarily, but they were just undeserving. So I think, why, why, why do we have any reward in life at all? Unless it's reserved for those that seek the reward. There's a reason why you have a reward. If, if you want to win, you're going to win because you desire that in some way, shape, or form. If you tell me, I don't want to win, I don't care, 
then I'm not going to have you on my team. If I plan on winning, and I want the best team that there is, why would I want you on my team if you don't want to win? I don't. Do I have anything to benefit from you? From your first impression? If I'm rich and you want something from me, you better have a good first impression. What if I didn't tell you I was rich? What if I was like undercover boss and I'm and I'm seeing how you're what you're doing and I'm like, you know what? You're stupid. You're fucking fired. And then you can go and be suck ass and wonder why your shitty existence sucks so much. It's because you suck. Good old fashioned, you suck. Didn't even try, didn't even care, didn't even bother. You suck, goodbye, have a nice day. You're fired. Like fucking. Maybe I should fucking make some kind of a reality show called. You're fucking fired. I wonder if anybody's ever done that. So I'm saying, how could you not live in an idiocracy when people don't even know anything? Like one day people might ask me, I always think of this, somebody might ask me, did you ever stop to think the effect you had on the world around you? And I'll say, wait, so you're asking, okay, no, <clears throat> imagine if I went to Albert Einstein and said, have you ever thought about the effect that you had on this planet? And, and he might tell me, I don't give a shit. And I'll, and I'll say, well, why don't you give a shit? Because he's like, I did it for the better. I knew what I was doing. I did it. So how can you come to me and say, have you ever thought about your effect on the world? It's like, have you ever thought about my effect on the world and, and how you could do that too or whatever, you know? It's like least things understood by people that don't get it. That's so why I kind of like that. Give your girlfriend brain worms because it's like this smart guy, and he's like, I invented a pill that gives your girlfriend brain worms, or no worms, and they're like, so how is that a benefit to society? And he's like, you people don't get it. I invented a pill. And it's like that in its own way. That is just so funny. Genius in a way. It's so stupid. But yet that's how things are. It's like if I told you like, hey, I invented penicillin. And you're like, okay, so how is that going to help out society? Uh, hey, I invented a pill for everyone that's called penicillin. And they're like, I don't really get that. How is that going to help us? And you're like, how is it not going to help you? You're stupid. You don't get it. Have a nice day or whatever, you know. And it's like, of course, it's a dumb movie, but, you know. I just thought it was funny, just as a quick little, like, haha. Like, they don't get it, you know? It's almost like you're a nerdy guy walking in the room. And that that's what the movie, like, project. Like, everybody's nerdy. Like, you can't be goodwill hunting. No, goodwill hunting looks like this. Everybody's nerd, I'm a nerd, duh.
have a I have a fucking beer. I'm drinking a beer. And I'm looking up Hig Higgs bosons. The fuck? That's like you know, I've been given this tool called the internet and everybody's like Oh my god, you found the and it's just like just it's so stupid. How, how I don't even know how to explain this. You know, pe people will say, "Oh, you're just a troll that found the internet and you're just mad." I'm like what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Yeah, I found the internet. Are you mad? Okay, so now you're just trying to make me mad. You're a troll. Wow. And then, and then they get mad, because they're like, wow, I, I can't make you mad. And on top of that, even when you're mad, it's like, so funny that now I'm mad, because you actually have the ability to get mad at things. And I don't have that. I'm not really a human being, you understand? So it's like, no shit, so when do I really consider anything that you have to say? When it makes sense. And it's easy. It's like light bulbs coming on. It's like the difference between the darkness and the light. And it's like, so that's why I think, that's why one day I feel like people will ask me, did you ever stop to think the effect you had on the world? Like if I was Albert Einstein, like if I went to Albert Einstein and was like, did you ever stop to think about the effect you had on the world. You invented things. You know, the nuclear bomb came from your ideas, and, you know, solar panels came from your ideas, and all these. It's not like you invented solar panels, but it's like. It's like you invented solar panels. It's not like you invented the nuclear bomb, but it's basically like you invented the nuclear bomb. It's like, what kind of effect you have like what what if people just like what if Nazis just started nuking people like do you not consider the effect that that has on the world mr. Albert Einstein and and, and you know I couldn't imagine what he would say he, would, he, he might say he might say a joke he might say a joke but it has deep meaning he might not say nothing he might say well I don't really have an answer for that <laughs> you know he might say, yeah, I, I have thought about it. And that's why I did all the things that I did. So you wouldn't get bombs dropped on you by Nazis. That's why I came to you and gave you the information, knowing that that's the best choice that I could possibly make. So how can you come to me and say that I'm a bad person because I actually thought for a minute one day? Do you not understand that? Like, some dude thought for a minute one day. Like, he actually had the expression of thought in his mind just exploding with thought in his brain. And it just, it could go there, and it could go here, and it could go anywhere, but it was just the magic of thought, like the spark of hope and thought in his brain actually happened. Could you imagine that? In a world of brain-dead lemmings, there's a guy called... Goodwill Hunting. Like, is that what the movie's about? In a world full of brain dead people, there is one man that can stand among them all and say, Yes, I was born with a brain. And this movie's called Goodwill Hunting. And it's like, so I find inspiration to that. Like, you know, is the dude a savant? Oh my god, so what's different about this savant's brain? Oh, it's it's different. It's mechanically different. There, it's you know he lost half of his brain and now he's a savant. And it's like, okay, so you're telling me for me to be as smart as a savant, I might as well cut half my brain out. No, I think I'm smart with a full brain. 
I think I just used the motherfucker. Is the huge world of amazing difference. The thing that makes and breaks people every day of their fucking lives and they don't even know it because they don't have the ability to actually know it. God forbid that. And it's like, so if, if people came to me and was like, oh my God, you think. Could you imagine the outcome of what would happen if you thought and, and things actually happened, like nuclear bombs were flying out of your head because you were thinking. Like, please God, don't think. Like, every great thinker has ever said that. And it's like, so if I'm looking at, if I'm inspired by thinking, and there's, a, and there's a great thinker there, and he's like, Yeah, I thought. I think. Mm -hmm. I thought about that. And then you don't. And it's like, Okay, it's really hard to think. Ow, my brain hurts. And, and it really does, you know? It's like, if you don't use it, lose it. You know, I, I work out. I do push-ups. I should do push-ups right now. And it's like, I find myself not doing push-ups because instead I'm smoking, which is fucking retarded. And it's like, they're killing me. And I'm killing myself in the process. And, but I'm not... 100% to blame, and it's like, although people will blame you, they've never thought about it for a minute, for a second, ever. It's just a regurgitation at some point, and it's like, I can regurgitate what I heard from Albert Einstein, but, but, you know, what's the difference between regurgitating lies and regurgitating the truth? I think there's a big difference, and I think if, especially if you can understand like the truth, and then the lies, and be able to understand the separation between the two, and then and then to be able to at least try to differentiate between the two, and then say, hey, I have done analysis, and and I was looking at something. There's hacks all over my fucking screen. It says ads not by the site. And I'm, I'm looking at that like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Ads, not by this site. That means you're hacked and somebody's over-imposing their ads on top of ads that should be on the site. And it's like, holy fucking shit, you know. And it's like, people are really brain-dead living zombies. And it's like, it's for me to know that and for them to really eventually find out. And that's why I'm thinking, like, I'm, I'm given this tool. I'm given all this shit. And a bunch of brain-dead people... And it's like they're just begging to be controlled. And I'm begging them to wake up and not be controlled. So at some point, I'm going to accept what they want and do that. And then somebody's going to come to me someday and say, why did you do that? I'm going to say, I did every fucking thing I could. Look at the beard I grew trying to help you. All for you. I did it just for you. And it wasn't enough. So you know what? I'm going to shave it all off. And I'm going to say, you know what, it's time to fucking do what really fucking needs to be done. My name is David Rockefeller, and I fucking worship the Illuminati 110 fucking percent because you beg for it. Even the people that are truthers that have woke me up, all they did is wake me up to the truth out. Everyone's a fucking lemming zombie, in a way. It's like, I tried to wake you up, I tried to tell you. I died inside trying to tell you. And you know what? Now that I'm dead, I don't have nothing left to lose. You know? So why not just sell my soul to Satan and, and wreak all the rewards in, in a sense, in a way. If you thought about that for a minute one day, you, you might actually come to the conclusion a million other people have. And some people don't have the thought to think of that so it's like at least I know what the hell I'm doing
I, this ain't just no regurgitation. It's like, why are there skyscrapers? Why do they have penthouses? Why are there CEOs? Why do they think for a minute at all, ever, one day, ever, period, at all? So they can be CEOs and everything else. There is a difference between me and you, and it's called, I don't take no for an answer, in a way, you know. I guess when it comes to people, if you're like, no, I'm like, okay, fine. But when it comes to things, it's like, you can't open your cigarette pack. Yes, I can. Nothing prevented me from doing what, that. <laughs> Nothing's going to prevent me. There's no law that says I can't pick this up right now, my lighter, and, and light my cigarette even though it's already lit. Oh my god, I, I have obsessive compulsive disorder that's preventing me from doing whatever the fuck I want to do. It's like I don't have the restrictions bound up inside me like you do. I don't find this obsessive compulsive need to not do anything ever. I actually am I'm the complete opposite of you. I'm a, I'm a different person, a different breed, a brif different thought process altogether and you can be you can be racist against my thought process. And and that I might call that not freedom of speech at all period ever at all. It, if I was racist against you for your religion, I would say I'm racist or, or, or you know, there's something wrong with me. If, if I don't... But if I'm just wanting to kind of give you a choice, I think that's different. That's why I like Thunderfoot. He's kind of like, I'm just here to give you the secular choice. Like, in a world where you had no choice, I gave you a choice. Whether you didn't understand it or not. That's why I, I want to at least get you to understand. And it's like, I'm not even on that there like that's on something different I think it's a part of it but that's why I say you gotta have the bigger picture like lemmings are lemmings and, and so if Thunderfoot is going and actually fighting a herd mentality but he thinks it's religion it's not he's, he's actually fighting herd mentality and whether or not he knows that or not is different. And he's an amazing, smart person. And I wonder if he knows that's actually what he's fighting. Is herd mentality. And it's like, I'm not going to fight herd mentality. I'm not going to fight herd mentality. I've fought it enough to know, hey, this is not something you want to fight. This is something that if the idiots are useful, it's better time to use useful idiots to your advantage and, and to not fight that in a sense not that you're giving in it's that you're realizing the potential to be had there like potential energy like if I was a scientist and I said this has potential gasoline has potential energy what if we stuck it in, in an internal combustion engine yeah so it's like, well, if we have this thing called zombie, you know, and it, and it's not going to wake up simply because that's what it is, why not we just use it to our favor? And it's like, that's what you're dying to do is to be a slave? Then we're going to do that. And it's like, if I, I want to wake you up. So it's like, if I was the Illuminati and I felt bad for what was going on, and I'm like telling people like, hey, I work for the Illuminati and I don't like what's going on. And everybody's like, well, I don't care what you think. I love the Illuminati. And it's like, yeah, I know. We're told we love the Illuminati. Whatever. We love our government. We love all this shit. But, uh, you know, it, it's not really as great as it seems. 
and they're like, no, no, shut up, no, do, do, do. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry that you feel that way, so maybe I'll go back to my uh, propaganda masters and, and say, you know what, you know, whatever's going on, I can't refute what's going on here, and, and, and you know, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't really deny what you're doing is good. Because, because uh, I mean, look, look what we're dealing with here. You're, you're doing a fantastic job at hurting the sheep mentality. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, hey, uh, I got some ideas to help you. You know, how about that? Oh, you don't need them. That's fine. I don't. Just good work, man. Whatever. You know. any sense? I don't know. Let me go talk to Albert Einstein and ask him about that. Hey, Albert Einstein, what do you think about that? Mm -hmm. I think you're right. But, you know, don't try to tell that to anybody else. Like, me, between me and you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all day, yeah. But go try to tell that to a brain-dead lemming zombie, good luck. Like, that doesn't mean I'm not going to. It just means, like, you know, how do you know if you're for certain about something? Unless you... If you want a job done correctly, you might as well do it yourself. And then, and then, if somebody's like, hey, you can't do that, and then you can go back and say, hey, you're right. Now what? Well, I'll tell you now what. Georgia Guidestones is what. That ad is just so weird. It's almost like a hypnotizing ad. reminds me that I'm not limited. I don't have like a rev limiter. Know what I'm saying? I'm like a Formula One race car, man. I got technology that other people just don't. Like, when my car starts, I gotta make sure that block is hot. So I gotta put heaters on my block. Because if I don't, it don't, it don't even start. It's locked closed. I don't even have a starter on my engine. Because I don't want the extra weight. Like, I have aerodynamic upside down wings on my car, so it pushes me down. So I get, you know, there's a lot of technology. The, the, the back of my car has foils on it, so it breaks up the wind pressure. So that way, there's no drag on the back of the vehicle when I accelerate out of a corner going like 120 miles an hour. Of course, it's all on an enclosed track, you know. The tires that I use, ex they're designed for the track. 
you know, the, my engine revs 24 times the speed of regular engine. It sounds totally different. It goes, you know, your car goes down the road, goes, and it's like that. My car's like, and it's just different. You know? I can't re replicate the noise really well, but it's like. It's like to me, it's not about money, it's a, it's about technology. And through the technology you get money. Anyway, because it's smart. It's like, don't smart people get money? Well, why do smart people get money? Because they're smart. And they use that knowledge to make them smart. It's like <clears throat> what if you are a nerd about basketball? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Or football. Can you be a nerd about football? Can you only listen to me when I look at you like this? Are you listening to me now? Are you listening to me now? Good. Because I don't give a shit. <laughs> and then people can tell me, why don't you give a shit? And I'll say, well, wait a minute, are you implying that you, yourself, give a shit? Or, or you or anybody else gives a shit? For real? So... You know, like, are you having a brain malfunction? Like, are your circuits cross-wired? And you might be like, I don't know, why? Just a question. Okay, well the answer is, <laughs> Oh, wow. Good answer. Good answer. That's the best fucking smartest thing I've ever fucking heard in my life. It's like he woke me up. It's like he blew my brain. It's like, whoa. And it's like all the world's knowledge of information just came intruding into my brain because he was like, blah. Did that help you understand anybody? Maybe this will help. Like, duh, 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 duh. I can't think. I'm a Duh, 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 duh. Does that make sense? Duh. I like the dog like this, because I'm a dog in there.
You know, it's actually not funny. You know, have you ever laughed at a retard before? I usually don't because it's sad. I'm like, and they're like, ah! and I'm like, I'm not laughing because that's sad. They're fucking retarded. But sometimes I see people. And they're like, look, a retard. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, who's really the retard here, you know? I mean, I mean, it's kind of weird and sad to me. I'm like, oh, it's weird and sad. Poor people, you know? But other people, they're not normal. They're actually retards. So when they see that, they're like, and I'm like, I'm trying to give an expression. It's a type of body language. I don't know if you understand that that type of body language. You know, like shrugging shoulders. That means like I don't know. You know. So if I'm like, I'm trying to say I don't know. And then that face is another type of body language, which is like, yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know. Maybe that's why people like blocks. Because they can see your body language. Because I've seen this one guy, he left a comment, and he's like, I like your blogs because I'm deaf. And so I'm really just trying to figure out what your mouth says. And I'm like, you know, a lot of people move their mouths dis differently, so I don't know if, you know, if, if I covered my mouth with whiskers, they wouldn't be able to, like, see what I said. So I feel bad. But it's like, I'm not going to try to change that, actually, so just keep feeling bad, I guess. Sorry for your luck. I, I do feel for you. I don't want to be deaf. I have ear an ear infection right now. I don't want to be deaf. So I do, I do feel for you, but I... I'm not going to really change that necessarily just for you. Not that I wouldn't want to. I just don't know any deaf people to really be heavily considerate. But even though I am, you know, I guess that's why YouTube offers um, enclosed caption. I don't like smoking. And it's like I smoke. Why, why do I smoke? Why don't I like smoking? Because it's a drug. Something people don't understand. It's an addictive drug. It gets in your eyes. I thought of something interesting to say, but I thought, what's more interesting to say than something that's more interesting to say? What if I didn't say anything interesting at all? What if I was just like, Durr! Is that more expectant? Is that what you expect more than not? Instead of something intelligent to say, do you expect something stupid to say? Like, hey, I like boobs. You know? Like Howard Stern. It's like the difference between Howard Stern and Alex Jones.
like Howard Stern talks nothing ab but sex. Alex Jones just doesn't really go there a whole lot. Actually, you know, I've, I've heard of him talk about it. I've heard him call women certain, like, you know, like mainstream media watching women. And I, he was calling them easy. And then another thing somebody was pointing out is how he hates nerds. And I, I was like, you know, maybe I should ask Alex about that. Do you hate nerds, Alex? Well, maybe we should talk about that. <coughs> you got some deep-seated hatred of nerds there, Alex? Yeah. About that, dude. Want to talk about that? No? That's okay. Talk about whatever you want. We have that ability to dive into the minds of those that are most inconspicuous uh, and implant whatever fucking fallacy we dream of. To dive deeply subconsciously into the un of subconscious to control the conscience through the subconscious. We have that mind-bending, altering ability to subconsciously, psychically dive into the minds of those unsuspecting, unwilling, like Jedi's, to plant our deep-seated hatred of zombies. I mean, uh, nerds. You know, because I'm I'm very opposite. You know, I come on here and I want to wake people up. But it's because I feel so guilty working for the Illuminati. And I just want to confirm what I most truly, deeply hate and, de and, and despise. That people are really fucking zombies. And the second somebody could come to me for a second, for a minute, one day, and say, You know what, Aaron? I'm not a zombie. I might have more empathy for those that I enslave. And I've, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, and I'm saying it right now. You'll never get it. They've lobotomized you. And at what point am I going to help them? To create a T-cell virus, retrovirus, that goes in and does robotic re-engineering. Transhumanism is the next level, the step of that above, above human. The next evolutionary step is transhumanism. And, and if I was a virus engineer and, I, and I, they came to me and said, hey, we need to ev evolve people like in Brave New World, like babies in test tubes how, how can we have baby test tube effect without having baby test tubes how can we have a brave new world and not really have test tube babies can we, can we kind of does that make any sense and so if they came to me and, and, I, and I'm a chemist and a biological engineer And that's what I do. And they come to me and they say, Hey, can you develop us a mind-altering virus to spray from chemtrails on people? To adapt them to their new enhancements coming very soon. You know, we're going to have Google Glasses. We're going to have brain implants. And your brain, you know, okay, if I have a USB cord and I want to plug a USB cord into your brain, basically, or my computer, I'm basically going to want to have a USB port in my computer. So if they're like, can you, you know, prepare people for a USB implant into their brain? Like, can you, like, you know, like, 
engineer an extra arm on their hand so that way it has a USB in the hand and then we can just plug it in there and then that'll go like directly through the neurons in their brain and go into their brain and they can just get a uplink there, you know? Because it's like, we're going to need this, you know? When we say, hey, go here, do this now, you know, we don't want to actually say it. We just want to go, blink, and you're like, okay, thank you, you know? <coughs> that's that's the fucking, that's what, that's what we call the fucking future, by the way. Is, is that so hard to understand? Well, okay, oh, so you're not against it? You, you want it? You want to be a fucking robot? Okay, here's some genetic implants for your fucking brain. There you go, you're a robot now. How, how do you feel? I don't feel anything. Good. Very good. That's I guess that's what I designed. Hey, where's my check? I need some bitches. And I need something to get my mind off how I'm really fucking people over. You know? I, it's like I didn't go to college for nothing. I don't spell bad for nothing. I'm fucking Albert Einstein. I don't know how to fucking spell. But I can write formulas as long as the day is. And, and people come on here and say, yeah, my brother's a savant. I, I like the movie Good Will Hunting. Did you ever think of that? <sighs> no. Brain dead. It's really quite sad, honestly. It's quite sad to think what my mind could possibly do to a race of brain-dead fucking lemmings. Uh, what if I could create genetic viruses to alter the very fucking nature of people and put them in a matrix or whatever, and then I'm begging them, like, hey, I, I you know, I, this is my job. You know, I don't want to put people into comas, but if that's what I'm paid to do, that's what I'm going to do. And if, and if I really feel like that's necessary, then I will. It's like if Hitler came to me and then kidnapped me and was like, okay, now I want you to create this virus for me. And I'm like, I'm not going to do it unless they deserve it. So just prove to me that they deserve to be brain dead fucking lemons and pow, bleh, gone. You ain't you ain't gonna have one fucking intelligent person walking on this fucking planet by the time I'm fucking done. I love the fittest is what I always fucking say. Especially when you give... If you stab an animal in its heart and you're going to eat its heart, it's like, do you have empathy over that? If I'm a wolf and you're a sheep and I'm going to fucking eat you, Am I a vegetarian all of a sudden? I mean, I, I am... I am My friends... I got tons of friends. They're all vegetarians. I understand. Something you don't. I, I don't even care if, who they are. I understand a life of another animal. Or whatever. But when that animal is my survival... Where do we go from there? When I'm the wolf and you're the prey. And I'm like, well, you know, I... I, for some reason, I have this weird ability to care about you. Other wolves don't. And it's like... Don't you understand? <laughs> No, you don't.
so it, you could think of this as more like a goodbye video. Like, I'm done with you. I think I've proved my point. That you are brain dead and you deserve whatever the fuck comes your way. And I won't feel bad at all. And that doesn't make me bad. Because I know the fucking truth. Something you are blind to. Because you put your own blinders on. You know, they, they call them all Satan worshippers, and I think, you know, they're right. Because the opposite is pure fucking bullshit. If, the, if Satan's the bringer of light, and God's the bringer of brain-dead lemmings, then what fucking side am I on, huh? And who the it would be beyond you to comprehend that deserving people deserve the karma that God rains fucking upon them and I, and I say I'm sorry I really am sorry I'm sorry that you're you you deserve it I'm sorry you know it's who am I to judge others to impose my will or judgment or anything upon others I'm not but I'm not going to let you stop me from thinking for a minute, for a second, one day, ever. My mind is limitless, and I do take the limitless drug. <laughs>